Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. We have charged and arrested given with the aged 60 of Hillview Park in Lusaka for the offense of a failure to attend before the committee and national assembly contrary to section 11a of amendment act number 13 of 2016 of chapter 12 of the national assembly act of the laws of zambia it is alleged that mr Lubinda was summoned to attend before the assembly and committee on privileges and absences and without reasonable cause failed to to the summons issued to him on the date, time, and place mentioned in the summons. He is detained in police custody awaiting court appearance. Thank you very much. Are you able to answer this? Yes, we are done like you. Ask so that you don't speculate. Well, when did it happen? Yeah, we mentioned that uh, this occurred between December 2021 and 14th June 2022 in Lusaka. Okay. And you, Thank you very much. And you mentioned to say you summoned as a police or by parliament? Because you said you, 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 summoned, you, you summoned him on a date mentioned the summons. When did you summon as a police for him to appear to her? When we summoned him? Yes. You want to know when we summoned him? Just know that we have him in our custody. Okay. We have read out the charge already. Yes. So they are saying this is politically motivated. According to PF, this is, the, the arrest is politically motivated. As police, perhaps, do you have uh, any comment on that? Yo, anyone is free to say whatever they feel like say. But police, we don't operate on uh, political lines. We are independent. And uh, by the end of the day, you'll be given chance to stand before the courts of law. Yes, we are not the judges. We are police officers. Thank you very much. Sorry, if I can ask you the last one. What took the police to summon from 2021 to do it? What took you long for the police to summon to come to the police? That is 2021 December. 2021, 2021 to summon. Yeah, we may not be in the position to say to tell you exactly what happened, but you know, we've got cases that we are following up, which occurred uh, even many years ago. There are other cases which occurred yesterday. We are following them up, so I can't tell you what exactly transpired. Yes, investigations have got have got no time limit. Yes. No, it's a good idea. It's a good idea. Thank you so much. That was uh, Danny Mwale, the police uh, vice uh, spokesperson, just clarifying uh, the, the, the charge that uh, Honorable Wind has been slapped uh, today. I was telling the police that why are you arresting this man on, on his birthday? Uh, seriously, uh, there's a developing matter here. Honorable Given Rubin has been arrested. He has been arrested for the offense of failing to appear before parliament. The, the brief of that is that parliament had summoned Honorable Given Rubin in December 2021 to appear over his remarks he made at a press conference uh, when he criticized the speaker over a decision to expel uh, nine members of parliament at the time. So as a party, we had made remarks and uh, Honorable Given Rubinda is the one that addressed that um, press briefing. We criticized the action of the speaker, which has since been verified by the courts of law. That actions were illegal, were 
obnoxious and uh, were out of place. The parliament was offended with those remarks and they called um, Honorable Winder. Honorable Winder did not appear, according to the statement here, both in December and, and in June 2022. We are rather surprised by this arrest because the speaker closed this matter. The speaker reprimanded Honorable Given Luvinda in absentia. How it has been brought to be a matter of criminal offence here at the police is what has puzzled all of us. So as we stand here, Honorable Given Luvinda has been arrested and is detained at uh, Woodlands Police Station and we are trying very hard to get him sureties. Our sureties are here where our lawyers are trying to speak to um, the officers from Central Police that he could be given police bond because this is a bondable offence. What are our remarks? We have noted the pattern to abuse these archaic laws. We were here the other day for a similar offence where they are citing archaic and colonial laws to oppress the opposition. This is an act to attempt to silence us, the judiciary, the, the parliament, are not immune, they are not immunized from criticism. If we can criticize the president every day, and if the president has removed criminal defamation from our books, or from our statutory books, what about these uh, people, judiciary and, and parliament? Why do they think that they are so subtle that they cannot be criticized? You know, we are seeing this operation, and uh, there was no consideration that this was the man's 60th birthday, and the police were swift to say the complaint is from the Speaker of the National Assembly, it's from Parliament, and they were just executing the arrest because, uh, according to them, Honorable Given Winda had, um, was found liable for those utterances and uh, that was in breach of parliamentary privilege. Ambassador Mwamba, would you confirm with us that um, the complainant is the Speaker of the National Assembly? The complainant is Parliament. Mm -hmm. He's a speaker. He's a speaker. Right. I, I think it is important, sorry, Ambassador, to put things in context. Yeah. That is the People's Assembly. Madam Speaker and all presiding officers are members of Parliament representing us. And if it's a People's Assembly, it cannot be, like Ambassador said, immune to criticism. If there is a, a, a wing of government that is highly political, it is the People's Assembly. It is charged with the responsibility of talking on our behalf. And we have a mandate to our citizens to follow up what our, our representatives are doing and be able to check them. At law, the, there was a matter to do with Fed member and others to which the High Court made the ruling that that parliament has no power to jail or prosecute citizens. Beyond that, there was a matter to do with Misaka in the HLM in opposition yeah. to which the speaker then wanted to direct the DPP to prosecute Misaka in the HLM. According to the constitution, that office cannot be dictated to or directed by anybody and the, speak, the DPP then, the NCU, refused to prosecute Misaka in the HLM because it was out of, you know, it was against the law. So what is happening today is against the law. Honorable Luvinda is already vindicated. His opinion over the speaker and the conduct of that house towards the nine members of parliament, the constitutional court has already made a pronouncement. So the, court, the police are operating out of order. This is just the Basically, the continued fear of the UPND who are using the police to intimidate the opposition, particularly patriotic front. This is a silly case. It should not even have been entertained. But as it were, when you have petty leaders, silly things like this happen. Thank you, Honorable. Alright, that's all for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.